Hey and welcome to this tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be going over how to create wires and cables inside of Maya. Okay, so you could try and create wires with a long cylinder and by adding some divisions and just try and get the rough shape. But this is going to be tedious and not to mention very slow. An alternative method and the one I prefer to use is to make use of the curve tool. So this is going to be easier in our orthographic views and we can just hop between the front and top views as we go. So let's just go up to create curve tools, EP curve tool. Just start drawing something out like so. Probably something like that. And then if we go into the top view, we can just make this kind of like fun loop to loop. Okay, cool. So now we have the curves out how we want. And I think this is probably due for this tutorial. We need to give the wires some geometry and thickness. But before we do that, since we draw out the curve in the orthographic views, now we're back inside the perspective view, we might just want to tweak a few things. Probably something like this works well. Okay, great. Um, so we're going to want to go ahead and create a cylinder. I'll probably just change my subdivisions to something much lower, like 12. We could go ahead and delete everything but this top face, but I kind of prefer seeing the whole cylinder for size and placement as it personally helps me visualize the thickness of the cable better. And what we need to do is just position it so that the end face is aligned to the start of our curve. Now we just need to select these faces on the end. I'm just using tab to paint my selection. Now shift select the curve and use shift right click and then go to the menu box for the extrude tool. Make sure selected is toggled here. Having the division set to one won't provide enough topology to bend along the curve. So I'd probably set the divisions to something like 50 for a cable of that length, but have a play around yourself. Okay, so I think this is probably looking a little bit too thick. So we can always just undo and adjust the thickness. Cool, and then just re-extrude like we did before. Before we delete the curve, we need to delete history or else it's going to mess with our cylinder. I'm just going to delete the ends of my wire. So these faces up here, and then finally this face on the end. Cool. So now when we subdivide, we have a nice and smooth wire. This technique can be used for wires, cables, and a bunch of other things. I once used it for branches on a tree. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please consider hitting those like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.